Did you say a thousand applicants per month? Around a thousand applications. I think December was a little bit shorter just because around the holidays, but about that in yeah. between Indeed, ZipRecruiter, referrals, um, LinkedIn, those socials. are socials. Those are our, those are our main points, but we really like to be able to hit from all areas. So like things like the brand awareness, being a featured employer on Indeed, um, making sure that we're putting out content, which one is, that was one of the biggest changes I think we made this year was we actually developed a marketing team in house, right? So prior to March of 2021, I was the only one accessing our socials and posting whatever content I could capture on my phone in the offices when I was there. And, you know, something's better than nothing, right? Get our name out there. And I think it helped a lot internally, but we brought on, um, we actually promoted one of our sales reps who has a huge experience and background in marketing into a marketing re uh, director position. And then we brought in um, a referral guy um, as our content creator. And so between the two of those guys, um, making sure that we're moving up the timeline on the content creation, have, having higher... Um, quality in the content. I think having that brand awareness. So a lot of the times when my recruiters are in screening interviews, they're talking to the candidate, they might've applied on Indeed, but they also saw us on Instagram. They watched our videos on YouTube. And so one thing Doug's talks about is we're going to show who we are and make sure that that is forecasted and, you know, front facing to everybody that we can, whether it's through our socials. And another big thing about that is people love seeing themselves, right? So ca capturing that, um, content internally of our teams, you know, when the guy or a gal on a sales team see themselves on a social media post, they repost it, right? I mean, that's just what you do. If you get tagged in a post, you repost it. That's just kind of how socials work and people live and breathe, you know, the social media game now. And so that's been really big for us to double down in the marketing department by bringing these go those guys on rather than me trying to kind of do it half-assed more or less. <laughs> Yeah, that, that makes so much sense. I talk about that a lot in, in my content. It's like, you know, as much as we, we need to be marketing to generate business and projects and clients, we need to be marketing and building our brands to attract the, the right people. And that's what you guys have done. And so with this year, 2021, a lot of people are complaining like, oh, it's so hard to find good people and whatnot. But it's like, are you really like positioning yourself as the company that that the top people are are looking to work for that they're going to be attracted to, and uh, you take you take extreme ownership over that. It's 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 clear. And hey, that's why we're here right now. Like you and I connected on Instagram, and I was like, man, like this content this this is different than what you normally see from a contracting company. Like I want to talk to the, I want to talk to her and see what's up. So it's like, it, it generates, you know, collaborations like this, generates team members, uh, you know, generates obviously clients, referral partners and things like that. So I think too many people, too many roofing companies are looking for like the magic, you know, what's that magic lead source where I can just press the button and it generates all these leads. And it's not, it's not that, it's all these things that kind of, you know, come together to build that brand that, that people want to work with, work for and be aligned with, right? Mm hmm. A hundred percent. I mean, that's where I kind of started was when I was in sales full time. I was posting all the time about what I was doing and how I was inspecting people's roofs. And that turned into a lot of online leads and referral leads. And to the point where I didn't have to knock a door anymore. I was just running leads from either real estate agents or referrals or, you know, friends that would tag me in posts of people that are like ISO roofer in Boise, Idaho. And I'm like, yeah, I got you. I'll go do an inspection tomorrow and just being right on it. And so people seeing that, you know, and, and kind of hopping on the train and then transferring that to the, to the roofing side of it um, or the company side of it. One of the things that I think is really important, I think that uh, a lot of other companies struggle with or, you know, fall pitfall to is they post a lot of roofing pictures. Don't get me wrong. I am a roofing girl through and through. I love roofing photos, but most people, unless you've been in the industry, don't even understand how roofs installed or what the, you know, the nice straight crisp chalk lines look like, or if the ridge venting's installed great. So throwing those in every now and again is great, but having that being the bulk of your content gets really boring. And so we've been really focused on 
like I said earlier, um, promoting our teams and showing and recognizing them on socials. And, um, you know, like I said, we are really good about putting on events. So we do a lot of content capturing at events and sales meetings and trainings and things like that. And that's the kind of content that we've positioned ourselves to put out rather than just the post of the newly installed roof, you know? And that's also where the podcast that we've just started recording ourselves plays into this as well, because we want to put out what our, what our mindset is as a company um, and where we're coming from and what we believe and what kind of coaching we can provide for people to be professionals in this business and not just be locked down on being a roofer who out, who's out there with a nail gun in his hand uh, or out there knocking doors. You know, we, there, there's an opportunity to, to be more than that. And this is a great business to do it in if you just build a business instead of, instead of just being Chuck in a truck. Mm -hmm. I definitely think like we're not just a roofing company, like we're a personal development company and we're a leadership development company. And that's kind of how we lead. And the roofing is the vehicle in which we help people. Right. But our, at our core, we just want to help people, whether it's in their with their roofs or in their leadership development or in their personal lives, we want to see people grow and help them. I love that. I love that. I mentioned before we started uh, recording that I, I want to start a roofing company locally one day. Um, and that's exactly what I positioned it as. That's my vision is to be a personal development company. Um, my son is, our son is nine. And I, I envision like when, when he and his buddies become, you know, teenagers, they can, you know, they can set, they can sell, they can work in the business. They can learn just life skills that you don't really learn in school. 